Hey boys and girls, let's have a real close look at the Amazon Kindle Fire HDX. Jerry here from Android Central, and now that Amazon is finally shipping the 8.9 inch Kindle Fire HDX, we're going to take a quick look at it. Uh, the first thing you notice is that it no longer says Kindle on the back. It says Amazon. They really want you to know that. The next thing you notice is it is a huge fingerprint magnet. Uh, I decided to just try, stop trying to fight with the fingerprints between takes. The soft touch, nice bezels here, as well as the hard touch, you know, a lot of fingerprints. Weird buttons on the back that's going to take some getting used to, but I don't want to say I hate them. Got a speaker grill on either side. Uh, stereo speakers, nice sound comes out of the thing if you like your music. And of course your camera and flash on the back that you should never, ever, ever use. Flip around and you can see, you know, the bevel aside, the profile on this thing is very thin. How thin? Well, it's as thin as the lid from my favorite beverage. Coming back around the front, you see more fingerprints and a front facing camera for video chatting. Uh, nice and light, but let's look at the software. Turn it on. Instantly, you'll see an ad. People have a problem with it. Uh, that's your prerogative. You can get rid of them for 15 bucks. I've found that Amazon must be spying on me because I usually like the ads. That one was for Ford. Took me to the website. You've got a carousel that they say is new, but doesn't really look all that new compared to the old one. And it's got your content right in it. Uh, books you've read, music, apps, everything you've you've looked at. Pop open a book here. This is a Kindle after all. Uh, you can read in portrait or landscape. The screen is incredible. Reading is great on this thing. And we can't forget that it is an Amazon product. You have full access to every single thing that Amazon sells. They really want you to buy it. Uh, they've got a new thing called Game Circle. You go into the app store and it's got a, a separate game store right here and it's got a category for game circle games these are games where you can compete with your friends everybody's doing that uh, go to the music section and it shows your local content uh, it's a decent enough player you tap something a little bit of album art go into the bookstore here's the books that are on on my tablet of course one tap access to all the Amazon books they want you to buy. Video player is a direct front to Prime Instant Video if you are a Prime member. Uh, this thing is great if you are a Prime member. There's Sharknado. You choose a movie, you can watch it now. You can download it and watch it later or add it to a watch list. That's all cool. There's a newsstand, and don't laugh at USA Today. I read my news on blogs, and this one was free. The app is well enough, you know, done well enough. Got a nice list here on the side that scrolls. Tap one, and there's your article view. Go back into the audiobook store. It's tied in with Audible. You get a free trial with your Kindle. You can use it, or you can just say, I love this. I'm going to buy it now. Listen to a little sample. Uh, like we mentioned, it's tied in with the Audible app. The browser, it's called the Silk Browser. It's pretty good. It's not Chrome. It doesn't sync with all your Google stuff. But uh, it does render very well, and it seems pretty speedy. Let's look at the Kindle Fire HDX on the Kindle Fire HDX, if I could tap it, that is. Load it up, and of course, it takes you right to the page where you could buy another one. Uh, make no mistake, this is Amazon, and they're only interested in one thing. Nice photo viewer with a flipboard-style layout. Pick a picture. I didn't take any of these pictures on the tablet, by the way. Got a pinch to zoom if the picture is big enough. You can share it. Uh, email, Facebook, or Twitter. You know, far cry from the regular Android intents. Autosave is turned on. It reminds you that you are part of Amazon's cloud if you open the camera up. Uh, it's decent enough. We're not going to talk a whole lot about the camera because you should never, ever, ever use a tablet to take a picture. But if you must, you get a decent enough picture. You zoom out a little bit. There's some detail there this this thing isn't great it's not supposed to be got a nice little rudimentary editor built in you can choose some filters if you wanted to post something to twitter i guess it would work let's make a hipster picture there 
Finally, back to the offers. There's a whole offer section now that shows you all the current offers. Uh, the origami case from Amazon. Phil, I'm going to put this on a wish list because I want to review it. So be prepared for that. Uh, what else we got? Lint chocolate. Uh, Phil, I'm going to put this on a wish list because I want to re review some lint chocolate. Uh, most of the offers, they seem okay to me. You, you get rid of them for 15 bucks if you want. Overall, the performance is really well. It should. It's got a ginormous Snapdragon processor in it. Uh, great screen. Everything is smooth. But make no mistake, this is Amazon and for people who are tied in with Amazon. Uh, that's all I got. I'll talk to you all later. For now, I am out of here.